Hi Virgo, welcome back to Virgo Speaks Tarot. Alright guys, so I'm tapping in. I pulled out one of my favorite Under the Sea Oracle decks and see what messages come out for you guys. Under the Sea Oracle. What is the message for Virgo? What is the message? Thank you. All right, Virgo. So I do want to say really quick, thank you guys for all of your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. So let's see what the message is for you. Gliding through currents. I love it. With a different approach, you will glide through a situation with grace and ease. With a different approach, okay? So going inward and bringing your understanding, perspective, or behavior into flow will help your dreams take flight. Very beautiful advice, Virgo from Under the Sea. Gliding through the currents. I love that energy, guys. All right, so, yeah. I feel like this is your message as well. It keeps coming out. Um, number 35, which equals out to number eight. This is all about support that's all around you, Virgo. You might not feel it or see it, but there is help here, okay? Support is here. Actually, I feel like the message that's been coming out a lot is that helpful people are going to be placed on your path to help you, assist you, like that person who gives you, the, that gives you the job, the interviewer, the recruiter that hires you, things like that. These are helpful people on your path to help you, you know, continue moving forward and growing. So... Number 35, this card says, help appears in various ways. This is the card at the bottom of the deck. Help appears in various ways. There is much support for you. Sometimes you may get so adrift, you forget to look to the support systems that are with you continually. So Virgo, don't forget that there's going to be help that's appearing in your life in so many different ways. Be open to it. Sometimes we get so caught up that we forget that there are a couple people we can count on, okay? Or, you know, ask for help. So very beautiful message. Very, very beautiful message. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to get this reading... I'm going to get this reading starting off a little different. I'm going to get, so this is a general message, Virgo. So what I'm going to do is, where is that deck? Yeah. So what we're going to do is just get some tarot and get some energy on what is your, what is coming in your near future? Let's try this approach. For my Virgo, what's coming in your near future that you need to be prepared for? Show me clearly, Holy Spirit, for my lovely Virgo. Please show me clearly for my lovely Virgo. What is coming in the near future that Virgo needs to be aware of? What's coming in the near future? For my Virgos that Virgo needs to prepare for. So we have Judgment Day. <laughs> so we have Judgment. Very interesting energy. So this is what's coming in the near future. Hmm, I kind of got the chills with this. All right, but Spirit is saying it's coming with good energy. We have the Page of Pentacles here. So this is good energy, Virgo. There is some sort of opportunity offer good news when it comes to money that's coming in. I feel like, like again, this could be someone like a recruiter, HR, human resource, someone who is going to give you some sort of opportunity. That's what I'm picking up here. 
Okay, so good news when it comes to your finances is what I'm seeing here coming in the near future. All right, so if you've been looking for work, you've been applying, I feel like you're going to get some sort of phone call or you're going to get, um, they're going to reach out to you, okay? I'm getting call. So you're going to get some sort of call or email letting you know that you were selected, that you were chosen. So let me get a little bit more info here. When it comes to Virgo, give me one more card surrounding this judgment for Virgo. For what's to come in the near future. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. Very interesting, Virgo. So this is definitely surrounding your finances, your stability. Okay, so Virgo, there is some good news when it comes to your money, your stability. There's money coming in that I feel like you've been waiting for, okay? This judgment call, this judgment that's coming in, there's like a decision that has been made that has been granted for you. Now, this Queen of Pentacles, this can be like a smart business decision, a smart move, a strategic career decision. Um, Whatever it is, it could be an offer or an opportunity coming in. Because remember, we've been picking up that, yeah, oh my God, a dream job, Virgo. We have the Nine of Cups. This is dreams coming true. <laughs> All right, you living your dreams. You're very happy and satisfied with the results. All right, Virgo. So we've been picking up opportunities are going to be coming in, guys. All right, so this is like a dream job. Something you did, um, you played it real smart, okay? I'm getting like you did something very smart, all right, Virgo? For some of you, you had to walk away, okay? But I do see you walking away with grace. Okay, I do see you getting through a situation with grace and ease. Okay, I see that with the seven of swords. Now, Virgo, with the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck, this is letting me know that with true wish fulfillment is coming in the near future, guys. I can't make this up. The nine of cups is all about like, I you know, I call it spoiled by the universe type of energy where everything that you have been wanting praying for is now in your hands okay it's like really really beautiful energy especially coming out in your own energy the queen of pentacles virgo i feel like you um are now going to be put in a position where financially like money is not a problem okay money is not an issue or concern wow so congratulations on this opportunity this this offer that's coming in this money that's coming in virgo Wow, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, so we're going to pull a card here. When it comes to my Virgo's career, when it comes to Virgo and career, what's coming in for Virgo? Or what is the advice for Virgo when it comes to career? Wow, we have good luck. We have the four-leaf clover here, Virgo. Very, very, very interesting. Virgo, so there's good luck surrounding you at this time when it comes to a career. Again, if you're looking for work, you're going to get an amazing offer or opportunity to do your, to work or to be working in, like in your dream field or dream job you know, dream industry, something you've always wanted to do. Like I've always wanted to work in the, you know, um, beauty and hair, you know, industry, or I've always wanted to work with children, or I've always wanted to do this or that, whatever this dream opportunity that's coming in, it's going to be big and it has a lot to do with financial security. Okay. Virgo. So I definitely see you, um, I don't know, I just keep hearing very deserving of this blessing, of this great fortune and good luck. It says here, Virgo, on the card, your fortune is improving and you will get lucky, a lucky break soon. 
All right. <laughs> so guys, this is the time where you want to stay optimistic. You want to stand in your faith. Because this is the time where your fortune is improving and you are about to get a lucky break soon. All right, guys. So again, like something's going to come to you really easy. All right, Virgo. It's like, again, if you've just been working so hard for something or if you've been wanting something right now, you've been praying for something in particular it's going to come in, especially if it's around your job. All right. So it says, collect nuggets of wisdom. You will need them in the near future. So yeah, Virgo, it's like right now, you guys, this is a good time to, you know, gain as much insight, knowledge, wisdom as you can. Learn from others, people who are, you know, have the same goals, Okay, take as much as you can with you because there's so much. I, I feel like there's so much coming in the near future that you're going to need all of this. You know, you're going to need to, you know, already be equipped, like, you know, using your discernment, learning from experiences and hearing what other people did and made mistakes. All of that is going to be good to take with you into your future okay so we have good luck and good fortune here surrounding your career all right virgo so i'm loving this message for you guys let's move on i want to get a tarot card when it comes to this your fortune is improving what is the energy here when it comes to virgo because even if you're in a financially secure place, there's still some, it's like, it's still an opportunity that's coming in. Okay. There's still good luck. All right. So if you are not struggling, there's like, there's still a lot of money coming in. All right. There's still a lot of good luck around your business, around your career. Okay. So this is, this, this good luck is going to affect Virgo's who could meet, you know, who could use a lucky break soon. And for my Virgos who are already successful and doing well, this is just letting you know that this is due, your success is due to this good luck here that's surrounding your career and finances. So show me more about the energy. We have the death card. Wow. So this is all about an ending but with a new beginning here. So this is like a rebirth, a death and a rebirth. Virgo, I feel like this is what you had to go through, okay? I feel like I'm hearing, of course, the dark night of the soul where you had to face your shadow side and really do some, you know, some self-reflecting, introspection work, all of that good stuff, okay? And what came out, was a new you, a, a major transformation. All right, guys. So, wow. We have the Queen of Wands here filled with confidence, courage, spirituality. Okay, Virgo. So, with this energy here, you coming out in a queen energy, letting me know that you're, you are, when is it, when you're, when you're spiritually guided to do something, you're doing it with the Queen of Wands energy here. This is the new you. This is what I'm picking up. Fierce. You know, it's like I'm getting like a really fierce energy. Unstoppable, strong force, strong life force. Okay. Very confident and determined to reach your goals learned a lot of lessons and it's made you very smart okay i'm getting like business smart street smart you're just you just learned so much that it's like you can't be fooled all right or played with all right but i see that you have definitely learned a lot from your your past experiences coming out as the queen of wands ready and so brave and confident and ready to take on 
whatever is coming your path. So this is beautiful, Virgo. The Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. My gosh. At the bottom of the deck, this is what's coming in, guys. When it comes to good luck, surround like good fortune, that's going to be um, your fortune is improving. And you're going to get a lucky break soon. All right, guys? So this is what Spirit is talking about. All right? There's going to be some sort of dream job or some amazing offer, opportunity for work. All right, Virgo, this is a brand new beginning. This is a lot of money, financial security coming in. All right, guys, so this is all surrounding your career and finances. All right, guys, so it's like God has a huge blessing for you. This is the judgment that was called upon your life. This is why, this is why, uh-oh. This is why you're coming out as the Nine of Cups. You're going to be spoiled by the universe. You're going to have everything you've always wanted, Virgo. So stay very open to that and stay connected to what it is you truly desire. Because you will receive it with this brand new beginning filled with abundance. This is your abundance, guys. Here it is, the Nine of Pentacles. This is luxury living virgo this is luxury sorry guys that's stella in the background but this is luxury living virgo you've earned it is what i'm hearing you deserve it you've earned it now it's time to do something very nice for yourself get you that nice home you've always wanted get you that nice vehicle you've always wanted you know, do something, give, give yourself a makeover. Do something very nice for you, Virgo, is the message I have. Now, because you work so hard, Virgo, you work so hard. You deserve to play a little, guys. It's okay. <laughs> All right, Virgo, so we're going to move on with your reading. So we're going to see what's going on. Let me get another deck here for my lovely Virgos. So my Virgos that are in relationships, we're going to pull a card for you. For my Virgos that are in relationships, what is the energy that needs to be revealed for Virgos that are in a relationship? Okay. Okay. So we have some energy here. Wow. So for some of you, okay. All right. So we have a fresh start. Oh my gosh, Virgo. That's what this Ace of Pentacles is letting me know. With this new beginning, it, it is a fresh start, guys. It's a fresh start when it comes to love. All right, Virgo. We have soulmate, soulmate, guys. With this fresh start, you're going to meet your soulmate. Spirit says this is worth the wait. All right, guys, this is worth the wait. You may not. Now, I did say for Virgos that are in a relationship, right? So what I'm picking up is that I just realized, okay, for my Virgos that are in a relationship, because this, this is crystal clear coming out, but it can be looked at in another way. So for my Virgos that are in a relationship, this, this new beginning that's coming through may be a fresh start for your relationship, for you guys to get closer, to strengthen your bond. I'm hearing like your person is worth the wait. You're with your soulmate. Okay, Virgo? And for my Virgos that are not with anyone, I strongly feel like in this new beginning, you will meet someone new. You will be connecting with your soulmate. I've been picking this up very heavy in your reading, but I know you guys like to focus more on career, money, and stability. So I focus on that, but I've been picking up new love very heavy. So when it comes to overall Virgo, when it comes to love... 
Let's see if there's any other messages for Virgo when it comes to love. Okay, so we have Virgo. We have a chaser here. Someone who is codependent. Fear of abandonment issues. Yeah, fear of abandonment issues. So this is a codependent relationship or this is someone who... Um, you could be dealing with somebody who are, you know, basically like leaning and depending on you for your strength. Okay. They're, they're codependent. This can turn into toxicity. All right. So this person is just afraid to be alone. So they'll attach themselves to people, even though it's not the right match. So be very careful with that Virgo. Um, I do see that someone here needs to, you might need to create some boundaries with this person. But that's what I'm picking up so far, guys. Yeah. Yeah, you may need to have a conversation. We have coffee cup. You may need to have a conversation with this person and just let them know that, um, you know, they may need to start working on their own self, their own, you know, they may need to get their life together before they hop into a relationship. Or, you know, if this person um, is just like, uh, let me see. I don't know, Virgo, this came out, so you might have an issue with this. With this person, this could be somebody from your past who don't want to let go as well. So this can go so many different ways. But if this is someone from your past, I feel like a conversation is all that's needed. All right, guys. So this is just what I'm picking up for the general reading. It may not resonate with everybody, but I just want to give you guys a well-rounded reading. Um, so this is what I'm picking up so far. So this is beautiful, guys. For my Virgos that are in relationships, you're going to be, you're going to start to notice how your connections are strengthening and they're getting closer and tighter. A lot of you are already with your soulmate as soulmate did come out. So I feel like with this new beginning, you guys will be getting a brand new fresh start to get, you know, to try to get closer with your partner. And for another group of you, you're dealing with someone who is codependent. Um, they have fear-based energy with being alone and you might need to have a conversation with them about that. Okay, guys, but I do see wedding ring at the bottom of the deck, marriage, union, wedding, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. So I do see marriage in the cards for my Virgos who are in love and in beautiful relationships. All right, guys, so this is your reading. Thank you so much for watching. I'm loving all the money, all the abundance. Let me go ahead and pull. I always do this. I decide to pull a card right when I was closing the reading. But something is just telling me with all this money, I just realized, yeah, we have keys. This is what's going on, guys. All right, so keys open doors. So Virgo, this is what's going on, guys. Now, what it says here is a door of opportunity has presented itself to you. This could be a new home, a keys to a new home, keys to a new car, keys to success. This could be keys to, you know, like when you start a new job, you get that work key to go through all the doors. There's an, a key that you're going to be getting, Virgo. So look out for that. Get prepared for a new key. All right, but unlock your future success here when it comes to keys. Okay, so this is beautiful. There's an offering coming in, guys. The universe will meet all your needs. This is a blessing. Wow. So, guys, that's that offering that's coming in that's going to set you up for life as the Queen of Pentacles you, and the Nine of Cups here, the Ace of Pentacles. Whatever this offering is from God, it's going to set you up in a very, very strong, secure, financially free future, Virgo. This is what's coming in your near future. We have lottery. For some of you, you're going to be winning the lottery. This is how you're going to get this large amount of money. 
Yeah, we have sudden wealth here, scratch off, big winner. And it says lottery tickets as well. We have the sudden wealth. Yeah, this is coming in lightning speed. All right, guys. So we have deep pockets, sponsors, Virgo check, $500. So guys, there's money coming in. There's in the form of a check. I feel like in the form of a direct deposit. There's a lot of money coming in, guys, when it comes to a lottery renter and offering from the universe. But do know that major opportunities are here presenting itself and doors are opening up for you guys. You have been blessed with the key. All right, so Virgo, this is your reading, guys. Thank you again for watching until the end. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Until the next time, stay blessed. And I wanted to say, I forgot to say in the beginning of the reading, um, I'm putting out uh, personal readings as we speak, but there is someone who, I, I'm not sure if I got your email, but I got your payment, Spiritual Quest. I hope that you're watching at this time. I'm going to do another shout out if I don't hear from you with my reading tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I need your email to send you your personal reading. But anywho, anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys until the next time. Stay blessed. Bye, Virgo.